If you're anything like me, every couple years you like to come back and replay a game that you haven't played in a while. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Welcome back everyone, this is Savage Slurp, and today we're going to be playing the original Red Dead Redemption. Now, I know that they, uh, they released a, a kind of re-release of this not too long ago, uh, and I was kind of disappointed to see that it didn't come out on PC. However, I do have it set up on PC, and it should be pretty buttery smooth for the most part. But anyway, without further ado, let's go on ahead and get this thing started. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Mm. 
What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. And here we are, back to Armadillo. And like I said before, uh, this is, it's not actually a remaster, but in a way it kind of is. Because I'm playing this on my PC, I'm emulating it, and I unlock the frames and everything, so. It should be the classic that you remember, but enhanced in those ways. But man, look at this. I kind of grew up with this game. And, uh... It's kind of what got me big into... big into the western scene. So I'm, I'm always trying to push my wife to, uh... to watch some western movies with me, even though she's not that big of a fan. But whenever I initially heard that Red Dead Redemption 2 was coming out, I knew I had to get it. And this game is the whole reason why. from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Yeah, just, just kind of a disclaimer. I'm, I'm emulating this on... Um, as an Xbox, so Xbox 360. I might struggle with the controls just a little bit until I get started. Man, this is this is wild. When I initially booted it up uh, and I had seen that it was running so poorly, I, I knew I had to do something to go on ahead and fix it. Which, by the way, if you wanna if you wanna know how to run this game, or just Xbox 360 games, in this such way, just let me know and I'll make a video on it. But of course I have to get enough requests for it, because I've been super busy here recently. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as most three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as 
cream gravy they are. Not like thieves landed. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> I'm kind of trying to find some points in between to where I can uh, do a little bit of talking, but I also don't want to cut off yeah. dialogue. Yeah! Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Yeah, this thing's running awesome aside from uh, every once in a while at least lose I'll a couple of frames. I'll tell you, Mr. Mark, the coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Yeah, but the, uh, the only reason that's happening, I believe, is just because of... Uh, Thing loading in. So, uh, whoa. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Alright, let's take a second to kinda... Alright, slow down, horsey. Where are we going? Take a second and just kinda like, absorb all this. Absolutely beautiful. You know, and I was, um... I was very impressed to see how they, uh, how they pretty much did a remaster of this... This entire region, as well. Whenever Red Dead 2 did release. Cause honestly, I thought this was about as good as, as good as it could look. But then once I seen what they were able to do with it, man. But this still holds up really well, especially once you do unlock the frames for it. Rockstar did an excellent job with this game. All right, let's get the show on the road. I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... <laughs> oh. 
poor gun. Super impressive on the writer's part to see that almost seamless transition between the characters in Red Dead Redemption 2 to the original Red Dead Redemption. The only hang up that I have is if I remember correctly, they got they got Javier kind of wrong whenever they uh whenever they made Red Dead Redemption 2. It was like kind of a fatal oversight, um uh, at least as far as the the accent but then again you know being back in mexico like that you could pick that well, accent back up so it would seem so how do you feel i don't know the polite word for it i do stupid is the word we use around here what were you doing i was oh i was doing something stupid well you'll be okay once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should've left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you. For saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right, now... Remember, they kind of have like an old school save system for this, so... Not sure if they had the uh, the quick save feature, but man, could you imagine if this game got a proper remake? Now, I would say that they go on ahead and use the same engine that they used for Red Dead Redemption 2, and in fact, they could pretty much use almost the entire setup that they have, like the whole world map and everything like that. They've already got half their assets. But if they were to come back and they were to remake it and add some of the features that were present in Red Dead Redemption 2 and they just rebuilt Mexico, that would be absolutely awesome. But since they've already kind of released a remaster, I don't imagine that they'll go on ahead and do that. Which is a little bit sad to see, but as long as we eventually get Red, Den Red Dead Redemption 3, then I think it should be alright. Man, this game is absolutely timeless. I can't remember exactly what year it was released, but just like, it holds up so well. Between the animations, the sounds, the atmosphere. It's all there, man. Like this, this whenever I did finally pick this game up and start playing it, I was hooked. I was addicted to it. Now, I did never get to finish it, 
but I would like to go on ahead and do that now. Just kind of as a side note before we really get this thing rolling, uh, I just wanted to say that if you've been following my channel, this is pretty out of character. You know, playing a shooter, third person, especially since it's not something that's uh, that's horror, because that's typically what I'll play on my channel. But uh, I'd, I'd like to fan out a little bit and kind of try some different things. Because the horror, it's going well and everything like that. But, you know, horror is not the only thing that I ever like to play. So, yeah, let's do this thing. Also going to try to go for a more raw experience for this video. I just really haven't had much time to go through and edit. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. Like, listen to that soundtrack. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. The amount of talent that Rockstar holds within their employees is absolutely crazy. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such well, a that bad almost thing? Ended bad. Change is only good when it makes things better. I think there was a little bit of controversy with that barn in particular, and kind of the way that the uh, the timelines added up. Back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Yeah, I think there was a little bit of controversy because I uh, I think that with the way that the timeline worked when you were playing Red Dead Redemption Online. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that barn was there and present and the timeline didn't add up because in Red Dead Online it shouldn't have been there I could be wrong it could be something a little bit different but uh, there is there is a little bit of something behind the barn that uh, that was kinda wacky and weird What? Oh, I'm supposed to hitch the horse. Oops. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't fight. Yeah, I think I said it before. I'm playing on a PlayStation controller on an Xbox emulator, so it's it's a little bit weird. I gotta play with it a little bit just to figure out what I'm doing here. <sighs> cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Now, hopefully my controller doesn't die while I'm playing this. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. 
Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <laughs> Kind of locked in. Got to do Let's this. Go. Uh, Keep your eyes open. Got to do this labor. We do owe a debt, so again. fifteen bucks is kind of uh, very hefty. At this point in history. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier. Someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. There should be shooting critters here in a moment, so. I guess we'll see how our aim is with this PlayStation controller. Look, those damn rabbits are at the crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pot. No survivors. Alright. Yep, there's not there's not much skill involved whenever there's there. uh that much aim assist, but get going. We've still got plenty of ground. It definitely helps because it's a little bit awkward on the controller as opposed to using keyboard and mouse. I was gonna set it up like that originally, but it was it was just too much if of a it's headache. Not the stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Look out! Coyotes! Shoot them before they get to the animals! Ah, wait! We're going after the chicken! I remember when I originally played this, this part for some reason had me so immersed and fired up for this game because I knew I knew it was about to be something special. nature of the beast. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Man, I've had a big dumb grin on my face ever since I fired this game. Thank you up. for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. And if you get a chance to replay this too, I'm sure you will too. Yeah, I've been uh I've been super into playing games that I kind of grew up with here recently. I'm doing a lot of GameCube emulation and stuff. I'm not sure if I'll release a video on what I have so far. I just really haven't been liking the way that they've been coming out, but... You know, that's kind of like one of those things as a content creator. Uh, yeah, let's go see Bonnie again. I'll try to play a couple of missions here for this uh, this first part, but I do have some things I gotta get done today. So I think that is a that is a bug that I seen occurs. Oh, sorry. All right, guy. I was just pointing. 
Damn it. Okay, that was a fatal flaw. I was just trying to point at the uh, the sun glare. Yeah, see, it kind of comes up through the ground like that. Well, this is no good. Not a great start. I was trying to do a, a high honor playthrough, but I guess that'll come later down the line. All right, there we go. Yeah, it was, as I was trying to say, um, the game doesn't come without its flaws whenever it's being emulated like this. And even then, it's like, for all I know, that could have been part of the original game. I doubt it, but it, it shouldn't be anything too crazy. We still get an awesome experience out of it, and it's, it's super minor when you look at the grand scheme of things. Yeah, not an amazing start, but it's something, I guess. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. I'm just now remembering, whenever I played Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, I do remember right, that the John Marston's iconic outfit Whoa. looked weird. And um, the reason that is, is it kind of looked like the jeans that he wears. Or Let's like... They were almost like skinny jeans, you know? It's like, you ever seen somebody wear skinny jeans and boots together? It's, uh, it's not a pretty On sight. Count of three. And that's exactly three, what it looked like in Red Dead two, Redemption 2. One, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Mr. Oh. McFarland! That's right. We gotta time our gallops, right? Suck it up, Mel! Pride, go! Go! That's more like it! Call yourself a rancher? Come on. Timing for the gallops is like just how it is in Red Dead Redemption 2. This sure beats milk and cows. It's like whenever your horse is mid stride, that's when you gotta that's when you gotta click it. I will say it is a little bit more difficult in this game. I bet you're 
You're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! Come on! Oh, what the? Whoa. What? Wait for you to catch up. This damn horse just spooked. Slow. Ran off to the right. Let's go. Now we gotta push it a little bit. I don't think we're win winning this one. Don't go easy on me. Oh, maybe. Got it now. Let's go. Whoa there. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Yeah, I've kind of always thought it. It, it seems like uh, Bonnie kind of has a thing for John. We'll see what else she's got for us before we head over to the marshal, though. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Yeah, I, I try to find some spots in between to talk, especially like with dialogue heavy games. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Yeah, that that's kind of what I was getting at. It's its kind of hard to find moments in between to do some commentary with a dialogue-heavy game, so I apologize you if you didn't get much. Live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. 
kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom? Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Yeah, I'm just I'm just now realizing too that my uh and my verbiage kind of changes just a little bit when I'm playing this How game well too. Do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin, the last real outlaw country, where the old ways still hold true. You do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. You do a man right, well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful knowledge you get that romanticized drivel out of? Crack that whip. We don't have all day. Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cards. Businessmen are the new cowboys. She's not wrong. That is kind of how the world works. This game was so ahead, so ahead of its time. I keep saying it, but man, this game, this game is next level stuff. I never stopped to see if they ever mentioned the. Uh, uh, I think it was the the plague that they had in Armadillo or whatever it was. I, I don't know if they ever mention it in this game. I do remember though that the um, so this is Armadillo. store owner Manhattan was in on it. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Hello there. How would Armadillo get by without me? How are you, friend? I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Any trouble, let me know. Uh, I think I could do without some weight loss right now. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. just enough honor to uh, get us back even even though that mission I guess wasn't particularly honorable for any reason but I gotta say this game pairs really well with black coffee what a combo a lot of people ask me uh, why I even drink black coffee and they say it's an acquired taste which it is at first, whenever I first started drinking black coffee, it wasn't that great. But whenever I ran out of some creamer one day, uh, I'm, I'm kind of cheap, so I, uh, I started drinking some black coffee for a couple of days, and then the more I drank it, the more I actually did end up liking it. And to be honest, it's like I can't even drink anything, uh, any coffee with sugar or creamer now. Well, unless it's from like Starbucks or something. My wife will usually go get that. 
All right, Marshal or Sheriff. I welcome myself to you. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <sighs> you that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? <coughs> I got me uh. one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. <laughs> Man, the voice actors that they Let's picked for this the game are phenomenal. They do an excellent job at picking the right voices for the right characters. And that's... Bunch of two bit hoodlums led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agent. That's with every Red Dead game. Coming in and out of town. Drivers in armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. Hello? The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Is the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into.
Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. As bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Going the wrong way. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. That law is easy money for easy work. Cola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. So many animals keep blocking us every time we try to pass through here. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Whoa! He's definitely struggling to pathfind past the, uh, the horses and the rabbits and such. Looks like we got company, boys! way up this hill. Over here, pussy fuck. Arson, I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. Go. Head for the crate, boy. I'll cover you. That's the behind the rocket yard, Arson. Now get to that rock. I'll shoot you to the face. This is like childhood fantasy come to life. Now get behind that outhouse. Ain't sure we seen the last of them. You ain't that tough, Walton. Got him. Now this should help with our honor, I think. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah! Come on! Excellent. All right, now let's see if we can go on ahead and uh, pull a little bit of money off these corpses here. This game is so great at getting you excited for the encounter that you're going through. Everything just draws you right into the action, you know? There we go. Yep, 200 honor. Now that makes sense. Here's something going on over the hill over here, I think. Might check on that since we're heading back this way anyway. There it is. should be able to get a little bit of money out of that eventually. I'm going to shut this down here in a moment. Um, go save this game real quick and uh, call it a day on this.
But for now, I'm gonna return back to town. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go on ahead and start wrapping this up at least for today. I still gotta do a little editing on this, make sure to upload it. That way, you guys can see it. So for now, let's go in there. have enough cash to purchase that all right tell you what we'll do uh we might do a little wanted bounty real quick where's that at on the inside oh well there's something else going on over here now too somewhere around here. There we go. Nice. And then we get an outfit out of it, too. Not that I'd want to wear it, but it's something. I mean, it's crazy to see how far that they came from Red Dead Revolver to here. It's like night and day. And that's not to say that that wasn't a good game. It's just, like, graphically and then uh, just fluidity without uh, throughout the character movement. It's crazy. But we do have enough to purchase this safe house now in uh, Armadillo Saloon, so we're going to go on ahead and do that. So that's cool. Just a quick little encounter. Didn't even have to do the, uh, the bounty. That's kind of cool how even here they figured out how they could get John to interact with what people are saying to him. He can converse with them without any type of prompt, and it's just f completely fluid. Let's go ahead and save the game. everybody well I think it's about that time I'm gonna see if I can't order me a drink real quick call it a day two dollars of whiskey all right well if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you got any other recommendations for games I should play, do let me know. But, until next time, I'll see you in the next one.